Hey guys, so there's three things that you need to do in order to make your career presentation go from being done to being like published and up where it needs to be. So the first thing you do is after you finish your presentation, and as you can see, my beautiful presentation, totally done, trust me. Uh, the first thing you gotta do is change the sharing property. So you're gonna go up here where it says share and click on that. And you can see I've shared it with all the teachers, but you need to change this right here where it says private only people listed below can access. Click on the change button and you need to change it to anyone with a link. And that means that anybody with the link can view it. Um, they're not going to be able to edit it, but that means that we're going to be able to see it when you post it on the website. So after you've changed it from private to anyone with link, click save and you're good to go. And then you click done. All right. The next thing you've got to do is you need to get editing access to your section of the website. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the college or the career website here and where it says directions can be found here blah 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 please register for the project by clicking here and filling out your information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out the registration for the career project. I'm in LS's advisory. My last name is LS. First name is Carl and my gmail address is here now once you fill this form out what we're going to do is we're going to add you as a as an editor on your advisory's page so once you're added as an editor editor on your advisory's page you're going to go here and because i'm in ls's advisory i will be on this website let me switch windows here real fast so after I've registered, I'm going to go here to LS Advisory, and if I'm logged into my Gmail account, because if you're not logged into the Gmail account that I gave you, that you gave us, it won't work. If you're logged into your Gmail account, you're going to be like, oh, check it out. I can edit this website. You're going to click on the pencil to edit the page, and the title of this website is, this is going to be um, Carl LS's Career Project Teacher versus gaming manager all right so after you give it a title and here's my title you're going to go to insert and you're gonna go over here to where it says insert presentation because you've made a Google presentation so you're gonna insert the presentation and literally this is now gonna search all your Google presentations and it's gonna find all of them that are there I'm gonna choose this presentation right here click select and I can get rid of the title and the border and click Save. Now you can see that's here and my title's there. Now the only problem is that I need to click Save up here one more time and then da -da -da, my website is here and everybody can view it. Once we start to get a few more of these projects here, just hit Return a couple times after you click that Edit button and put your project your career presentation below the one that's that's kind of currently on the bottom obviously you can ask your advisor or any of the teachers in the computer lab that you're in to get help on this but hopefully that will help walk you through how to do the last three steps of your career project so we can all check it out in advisory coming up here at our career for career fair thanks